Heirloom Seeds and welcome to another video in our food storage prepping in the garden series. Now the first couple videos we did we discussed different types of crops you can grow and save and preserve and store without using any uh, food storage preservation methods such as canning or even freezing, freeze drying or even a dehydrator. But today we're going to talk about pumpkins. Pumpkins are some of my favorite crops to grow. They're pretty easy and as you can see, there's a lot of different variety in pumpkins. We have a Jack B. Little Pumpkin. Uh, we have a Jarradale Pumpkin, which is a beautiful blue pumpkin. Uh, we have, this one is a new one here. This is one's called a Queensland Blue and then we also have a Casper Pumpkin and we've got some Sugar Pumpkins. So. Growing pumpkin from seed takes anywhere from 90 to 140 days. And there's a lot of variation in there. Really, it's more like 110 to 120 days, but it absolutely depends on which variety you're growing and the climate in which you're growing it. But it doesn't store as long as some of the other varieties I've shared with you. Now, when you grow your pumpkin, you're gonna wanna make sure that when you harvest, you harvest the freshest, and the most healthiest for your storage. For those that you're going to eat right away, it doesn't matter as much. Now, if you want it to, if you want your pumpkin to last the longest in a root cellar or in your storage area, you're gonna wanna make sure that you properly cure your pumpkin before you store them. Now, curing can be as simple as uh, allowing them to sit on a kitchen counter for a couple days to a week before you store it. Uh, some people actually use a diluted solution of a cap full of bleach and a gallon of water in order to sterilize the outside of the pumpkin. Some people use uh, alcohol like vodka and water to sterilize the outside of the pumpkin. You want to make sure that when you're going to you're going to store these after harvest that you don't have a lot of bruising you want to make sure that you carry it carefully and you don't break off a lot of the stem. And you want to make sure that when you store these, that there aren't any blemishes or cuts on them because that can cause them to rot prematurely. Now, for your storage, you're going to want to make sure that you don't store them close together like I have here. You're going to want to make sure that you put them on something like cardboard. You don't want to store it on cement because that can cause them to rot. Now, how long can you store pumpkin without doing any preservation? Now, that is a good question. And it absolutely depends on where you are and the temperature and where you're storing it. Properly stored and properly cured, your pumpkins should store for three to five months. I've actually stored them on my kitchen counter for up to six months. So they can store for quite a long time. And that is with very little uh, processing or cleaning or anything. Now, for the long-term food storage, you can absolutely take these beautiful pumpkins, uh, you can cube them and store them in a jar before you can them, or you can make pumpkin puree like you would use in pumpkin pie, and you can can that. Let's talk about those long-term preservation methods. I mentioned the cubing and I mentioned the puree. Both of those can be frozen for long-term storage or short-term storage, depending on how uh, your definition of long-term storage. But cubed or pureed, if you want to can or jar your pumpkin, you will definitely need a pressure canner. Uh, there are, from what I've read, you don't want to water bath can pumpkin. You want a pressure canner. There are a lot of different resources out there on how to preserve using a, a pressure canner and I'm not going to go into that because there are some people that are professional canners that can give you a lot better advice for that. So, but I can help you with growing from seed. In the description section of this video you will find information on how to grow pumpkin from seed uh, and then obviously you'll see some of the other videos on how to grow and what to grow in your area. I'm Mary from Mary's Heirloom Seeds, and if you have any questions, you can always send an email 
to mary at marysheirloomseeds.com. Check us out online if you're looking for awesome seeds. It's www.marysheirloomseeds.com. I am Mary, signing off, and I hope you've enjoyed some of our series. We've got a couple more to go, uh, and happy planting.